Hey everyone, I've Rianmet here and today we are going to be talking about one of the websites that will be closing down after this Easter and it's where you get to see where the Easter Bunny is and no, I'm not talking about the original Track Easter Bunny the website we are going to be discussing about today is trackeasterbunny.cc so without further ado, let's begin You may have heard of East Mountain Films on YouTube or Owen the Death elsewhere. But anyways, during the 2018 Easter Bunny Tracker stream, Track Easter Bunny was obviously a hated website at the time then and you keep having to refresh. So, during the process of 2018 and the very beginning of 2019, Owen the Dev decided to make his own Easter Bunny Tracker and that's how Track Easter Bunny CC was born. On March 16th, 2019, Track Easter Bunny CC was launched. Unfortunately, it didn't come for nap, but if you want to make it a nap, you just have to click share on iPhone or just press install app, you know, on Android. Anyway, the first run of track Easter Bunny CC in 2019 did surprisingly well actually with only 4,000 hits. That's really great for our first year of the Easter Bunny Tracker. Now, I wasn't really into the Easter Bunny Tracker at the time, then until the next year in 2020. In 2020 was a massive year for track Easter Bunny CC. URL arguments were added, the estimate arrival time, which is my favourite thing on the Easter Bunny Tracker, was added, and there were more stops as well, which was even more exciting. And around that year, 35,000 people viewed track Easter Bunny CC, and that was one of them. So yeah, track Easter Bunny CC 2020 was a massive year. But then here came 2021. Yep, you've heard me. New features. They first added an item where you can change from metric to imperil, depending on what type of metric you're wanting to use. They also added more details and info on what the Easter Bunny is doing, such as the speed is travelling, distance from you, distance travelled, and carrots eaten. Anyway, they made the estimate arrival more precise, and also the Easter Bunny did a shadow of 800 stops that year. But what they had to do that year to remove the URL arguments because they wanted to make the Easter Bunny Tracker a lot more neater. And also there was a feature where you can get rid of the map buttons to fix grey lines. Which is really good. And then around 2022, not really many features came because I think um, Owen the Devil was on a little bit of a break or something. And also they didn't really get time to plan that year. So version 5.6 came out. And what was there is... There was now flags in the next stop box, how it was optional, uh, however though, and there was more um, smoothness to the tracker, so like, you can go it being 1 frame per second, all the way to like 30 frames per second, but be very careful with it though, because it depends on the battery of life that you're using. And I forgot to mention in 2020, you have to enable to make the Easter Bunny bounce as well, I forgot to mention that earlier. And then in 2023, a massive rebrand happened. Yep, it was all new on React. More stops were included, the track was more neater and nicer, you had more features, localization came on and also you get the precise feature so you know when the Easter Bunny exactly gets to your location. Anyway, um, and then here came 2024, the saddest news. On May 28th, 2023, an announcement was made that track Easter Bunny is shutting down in 2024 after Easter. Now many people saw this and were extremely shocked by it. Because we obviously knew that trackoff.cc closed down in April 2023. If you don't know what trackoff.bunny.cc is, it was a time-shared website with trackoff.cc that used to track the off.bunny for off.cc. How would you allow usage that website shut it down in April 2023? Now, why exactly is trackoff.cc shutting down? Well, the answer to that is pretty simple. Well, East Mountain Films is retiring from the tracking community now and also because um, now that East Mountain Films or Owen the Death is now moving into a solo development at college, that means he won't have the time to make tracking from 2025 and beyond and all that. I know this is pretty sad news for tracking from CC fans, but the good news is though is that the legacy code will still be available even after it shuts down. So someone could take the torch and make a revival version of track Easter CC and just leave it on maintenance. Or we could even make our own tracker. But this is a sad news for track Easter CC. But the good mem but we will always remember the good memories we'll have for that website. 
And we want to say a huge thank you to TrackEast.cc Development, which is East Mountain Films, or Own the Death, as we call it elsewhere. And yeah, that's practically how TrackEast.cc was made. And yeah, it does suck that we do have to now use other Easter Bunny trackers like the original Easter Bunny tracker or Easter Bunny Net and all that lot. But it will be a memory using TrackEast.cc. And how do I will try and save the website again like I did with the Orthodox one, and I'll put the link down to the Orthodox Easter Bunny tracker link. Anyways, um, this Ivory Anime signing off.